So we're ready to install ChatGPT on Windows 11. I'm gonna go ahead and open up my browser here. I'm at the GitHub webpage for LenCX. Uh, this is the developer for the ChatGPT app. If you scroll down a little bit over here, you can see that version 1.0 is the latest one that's out, came out last week. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. It's gonna bring us over to the download section. Now this is available for Windows, it's available for Linux and Apple. I'm doing the Windows installation, but if you wanna see this on a different operating system, let me know in the comments below. So I'll scroll down a little bit here, and you can see that we have the ChatGPT version one for Windows. It's the x86 64-bit MSI file. The MSI file is the one that we want. It's six megs in size. So go ahead and click on that, and it's gonna download it over here. And once you're ready to install, we just have to click on it to launch it. Because this is an unrecognized app, the Windows Protect message comes up. You just have to click on more info and then run anyways. And then we get the installation wizard. I'm just going to minimize this window over here so we can see it clearly. And the only thing I have to do is click on next. And if you want to install it in a different folder, you can, but this is the default one that we have right over here. Click on next and we're ready to install. So we'll click on install and it's going to go ahead and extract all the files. We get a user account prompt over here. We can just say yes to that. And you can see that we have an icon over here on the desktop for ChatGPT. If we click on finish, it'll automatically launch the app. And here we go. So the next thing to do is either log in or sign up. If you haven't logged in before, you can go ahead and click on the sign up link over here. And it's going to ask you to put in your email address. So I'll go ahead and do that. And it'll ask you to type in your password. All right, I've just entered in my password. Um, it's at least eight characters. Go ahead and click on continue. And it's going to send a verification email. Okay, we have everything verified. We're now logged in. Uh, it's letting us know that this is a free research preview. It's letting you know that it's collecting some data. Uh, they're welcoming feedback and you can connect to their Discord server. Uh, once you have that all selected, click on done. And here we are, we have ChatGPT opened up and you can start using it right away. Ask it any question that you want and it'll start giving you prompts. And there you have it, that's how you do it. That's how you install ChatGPT on a Windows 11 PC. This is an independent app, so you don't have to worry about using your browser. You can use everything within the app itself. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please smash that like button. If you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.